here again, knockout stages in Champions League after amazing group stage, where we actually won all six games against Chelsea, Rangers and PS3. So we are confident uh, going to this knockout stage, but yeah, last season we lost to Inter in the first round and this season we're playing the neighbors, AC Milan in the first round. Could it end like last year? I don't know, but uh, we will try our best. So let's see what we can manage this year in the knockout stage. What a mouth-watering prospect this is. Two genuine heavyweights of European football, both with the potential to go all the way. It's difficult to pick a winner here. It is Bordeaux. They take on Milan next on EA TV. Good evening, everyone. Tonight, we're talking to you from one of the special venues in European football, the San Siro, here in the city of Milan. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And we're into the knockout stages of the UEFA Champions League. Tonight, it's the first leg of this round of 16 tie. It's Milan against Girondin de Bordeaux. Well, this is a great tie, Derek. Two excellent teams, a great atmosphere and all to play for. I can't wait for this one. Team. Niklas Zule starts with Yerai in central defence and they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage.
Well, as you can see, the defending is all over the place. That's far too easy for the attackers. The goalkeeper's got absolutely no chance there. Marcus Edwards. Well, the supporters think it's on. And he's got a score to level it again. And the whistle is that of the referee signalling an end to this very entertaining contest. A scoring draw when all is said and done. And Stuart, now we can look forward to the return game. Yeah, entertaining being the operative word, Derek. Was a little concerned it might be a bit cagey today, but it was far from it. Plenty of bright attacking football from both sides. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's had a tremendous game and attack, Stuart. Yeah, he was their best player today, and it was no surprise that he got the equaliser. It was a really good finish. on one man top scorer in the Champions League can he add to his total tonight we'll find out soon as we're just minutes away from kickoff it's live welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down I'm Derek Ray and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson and we're ready for the Champions League round of 16 second leg it's Girondin de Bordeaux facing Milan. Well, the first leg was a really good game, Derek. It had action at both ends, it was an even contest, and it's set up perfectly for this second leg. Hopefully we're not disappointed. Eduardo Camavinga. I must say, this looks promising. Terrier. And it goes! A huge goal in this tie. As it stands, they will be the ones going through. Well, as you can see, the skill to set up this chance is absolutely brilliant. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Leao. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Surely the equaliser. And he's done it. Parity again. A magnificent game unfolding. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? He's got the right idea with that pass. Oh, a goal! And one that can really matter in the quest to make it true. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Going well. He's in here. And a goal! And I'll tell you what, that gives them a bit of a cushion now.
Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. They favoured a short one here. Yerai. Vega. Can he put it away? And a goal here! They've given themselves a chance, but need one more goal to force extra time. <laughs> Amadou Onana. And on to Edwards. The inside route looking promising. And a big moment because the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee, just because it's a penalty. And there it is, perfectly executed. It's not lost on them what a goal could mean at this late stage. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Oh, it's gone in! And that could be the goal that wraps it up once and for all. Oh, he's through here. When you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Firing it towards goal. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. Running room in the wide position. Martial! And he struck the post. And it goes! A huge goal at this tie. As it stands, they will be the ones going through. Well, as you can see, he's so alive to the rebound. He's first to react, and then he gets his reward. It's a good goal. That is how to apply the pressure. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Now potential danger. Chance to finish. In it goes. And it should be the goal that gets them through. Well, here we can see it again. It's a beautifully weighted ball behind the back line. And then he's so calm with the finish. Cool as you like to round the keeper. And he slots it away so nicely. It's a really good goal. Promising looking ball. Oh, could be a chance. Will he? And he's only gone and made it a hat trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, let's take another look. It's a really well timed pass to break the offside line. And the movement is so good that they end up with a 2v1 against the goalkeeper, who was completely exposed. Great play, but poor defending. So, 
and the hosts will go through. Well, I've never been a great fan of extra time, but today that was compelling stuff. Both sides wanted to win it rather than not get beaten. And overall, I think the best team probably went through. What a mouth-watering prospect this is. Two genuine heavyweights of European football, both with the potential to go all the way. It's difficult to pick a winner here. It is Bordeaux. They take on Real Madrid, and it's coming up next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to one of the most recognisable venues in world football, the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as always, is Stuart Robson. And we've got quarter-final first leg action from the UEFA Champions League coming right up. It's Real Madrid, and they face Bordeaux. Well, I've been looking forward to this one ever since they were drawn together. They're two excellent teams with a host of top-quality players. This should be a really interesting first leg. The starting players for Real Madrid. Well, we talk about this false number nine position, but really he's just an attacking midfield player. The penetration comes from the wide players who make runs from outside to in. Done well, it can be devastating. defending when it mattered useful looking ball and a goal this is why we adore this game late drama and now they're in front Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. The final whistle, and the visitors currently in control on the back of a lead in this first game. Well, it's a slender lead, but one I think they deserve. They were certainly the more fluid team in possession, but the second leg will be just as tight, and I would say it's 50-50 who will advance. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority and attack, Stuart. Well, he's the match winner, and deservedly so. He was outstanding today. He's great to watch when he's in this sort of form. One man the focus of attention. Top marksman in the Champions League. Can he add to his haul this evening? Well, 
nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board alongside me is Stuart Robson, my commentary partner. And we're getting ready for a quarter-final second leg match in the Champions League. It's Girondin de Bordeaux facing Real Madrid. Well, the visitors have it all to do here, Derek. But a quick start, an early goal, and they'll be right back in it. This should be good today. anticipate seeing from him well Derek over the years he scored so many goals it's his ability to come short and then spin in behind defenders at such pace when the ball's played in behind nobody catches him and he often gets 1v1 against the goal oh wait a minute they could well be in and it's in as they tighten their grip on the tie well as the replay shows that's such a brilliant bit of skill to set up the chance. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? Antoine. Oh, a lovely ball. Well, now in a dangerous position. In it goes! Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then from there, the keeper has little chance. Two on one, left completely exposed, and it made for a simple finish in the end. Really good attacking play. Oh, he's really up on the up here. Oh, yes, a goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. And short it is. Will it happen this time? And a goal! And now the question is, can they come up with one more? Well, no luck keeping possession. And crossing towards the far post. There's the goal, and that should be the one that puts a seal on it. Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. Ozim Hen, real chance. Oh, wonderful save. Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. There's the final whistle. The home fans are jubilant. They are going through. Yeah, I thought they were really positive over the two legs. They played some good football, certainly going forward, and they looked a real threat. Should give them confidence going into the next round. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.
This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. We'll have every kick of the ball for you live on EA TV. A wet night in store for all concerned. Good evening and welcome. I'm Derek Ray, and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And now things get really exciting on the UEFA Champions League front. We're at the semi-final stage, and what we have coming up is the first leg. It's Bordeaux facing Barcelona. Well, this is what the Champions League is all about. Some of the world's best players, two excellent teams, and a great stadium. Let's hope we're not disappointed. And here's the starting 11 for Barcelona. Marc Andre Ter Stegen in goal. Frankie de Jong plays with Franck Yannick Kessier in the center of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. De Jong, and a goal! The opening statement in this semi-final. How important could that prove to be? Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Real chance. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Eduardo Camavinga. Cherki. Well, visionary passing. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Terrier. An incisive pass. Could it be? There it is. And he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, let's take another look. Yeah, he won't get an easier finish than that. The defending was all over the place, though. And there it is. The referee blows for full time. And my goodness, no wonder these home fans are ecstatic. Still, there is a job to do, but they must fancy their chances based on this performance. Well, it was a great performance, wasn't it? You could see the game plan from the first minute and they executed it so well. Surely they'll be moving into the final with another display like that. But it just seems that this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And of course, he scored two really good goals. The cameras are fixed to one man, 
top scorer in the Champions League. Can he add to his total tonight? We'll find out soon as we're just minutes away from kickoff. Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we have to look forward to is the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. It's Barcelona, and they take on Bordeaux. Well, Derek, they travel here today full of confidence after that first leg performance. But this is going to be a stern challenge for them. They will need to be somewhere near their best to progress to the next round. They know they need to stop him. Good pressure high up the pitch. And it goes! And that changes things just a bit. And he's made headway. And a goal! It's a two-goal cushion in the tie, and now we can say they're firmly in control of this. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, the speculation has been there for all to see, but if the reports are to be believed, Stuart, Milan may be about to get their man. Oh, he could be in here, Derek. And a goal here! They've given themselves a chance, but need one more goal to force extra time. Well, they can't exhale just yet. Here they come again. Terrier, he's in behind. And a goal! And I'll tell you what, that gives them a bit of a cushion now. Well, here it is again. It's an easy finish in the end, but what was the keeper thinking? That's a poor bit of defending. De Jong, can they convert? Turam, and a goal! And now the question is, can they come up with one more? Nuno Mensch, Ferran Torres. Now with De Jong. Well, visionary passing. Oh, a goal! What drama here! Level pegging now, and who's to say what will happen next? Well, this could be productive. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over, and two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. continues his run it might be oh a goal the ball's in the net a hugely important moment in the story of this tie well as you can see he's a dangerous runner with the ball he has such good balance and pace 
That's a top-class goal, isn't it? There will be one minute added on at the end. This looks threatening. Real chance. And it's in as they tighten their grip on the tie. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Is it going to be? And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pacing transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, but in the end, it's far too easy to create the 2v1 against the keeper. What were the defenders trying to do? Nice finish, but poor defensively. He must finish. And there is the whistle. It's going to be quite the party now because they're through to the Champions League final. Well, there'll be some tired bodies out there. That was a tough couple of games and, of course, extra time as well. But they're through to the final and I think they deserve to be there. They were so strong in that extra period. What a final it should be. Wow, what a run in the knockout phase, right? We beat AC Milan in the first round. After that, Real Madrid. And after that, Barcelona. So now we are in the Champions League final. And who are we gonna play against? Yeah, Manchester City. So it's gonna be a real challenge. And we are happy to be in the final, but we have to remember that not, this is not the end goal to be in the final. The end goal is to win. But can we manage it? Can we?